Hello, welcome to a lattice home workout video. What we're gonna be doing in today's video is taking you through a load of exercises that you can do at home on your own with some really simple kit. Now, the way we're gonna formulate this is we're gonna release this each Thursday, and then you'll have that week to follow along through these videos. Each video or each week, it's gonna get a little bit harder, so we're gonna have progressions building all the way through those. And importantly, is those are gonna be specific to climbing. You know, we're climbers, you're climbers, we're gonna try and make these workouts as specific as possible to work the appropriate muscle groups and mean that when you come out of any of that home isolation, lockdown, stuck away from the crags or indoor gyms, you're gonna be hopefully fitter and stronger than before. So we're gonna get started on these exercises in a minute, but before I do that, I want to run you through a few key things, first of all. Number one is you want to be warmed up before we do this exercise. I'm gonna take you through a very basic warm up that we're gonna do before we get into this, but it'd be great if you could do your own additional warm up on top of this. I don't wanna kind of waste your time in this follow on doing all of my warm up, and I think things tend to be quite specific to the individual. So it's good to do a warm up that works well for you. Try and cover all of your body because this is a full body workout. The second is the kit that you're gonna need. Now we try to keep this one really simple because I know that most people's home setups are pretty basic. Behind me, I have a pull-up bar. I have a portable fingerboard. You could also use a fixed static fingerboard. We also have a TheraBand. I've got a mat on the floor, which is for any of the floor-based exercises. And it's nice to have one of these just if you're sitting down, it's just a little bit more comfortable and padded. Now for the frequency of this exercise or this workout and the progressions through it, as I said, we're gonna be releasing these once a week and making them a little bit harder as we go through. So I'd recommend that you're doing these around two times a week, definitely not more than three times a week. There's some strength work in here, so you need to leave that adequate rest before repeating that exercise again. Now what I've got to do this session for us is an interval timer, and I've set this for 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. We're gonna to continue to use this ratio of rests and work periods all the way through these videos. And we're gonna use this in our warm up as well. So get your interval timer ready on your 30 seconds, 30 seconds off, or just a simple stopwatch if you don't wanna set that up. And we're gonna start with some running or jogging on the spot. Okay, we're gonna start with a 10 second countdown and I'm gonna be starting with some jogging on the spot just to really get the body warmed up all the way from tip to toe. So. What's really important is that to get going before any exercise, really warming the body up, getting those muscles warm, raising that heart rate and getting prepared for some more high intensity exercise. So depending on your level of heart cardiovascular fitness, is you might want to do quite vigorous jogging or you can likewise just bring it down to much smaller steps or even just step throughs. Okay, four seconds to go. Okay, and now we're just gonna move on to the upper body. And we're just gonna do these punches, just bringing our hands out either side. So really low intensity, but quite high speed as we're moving through. Moving up, open those hands out as well. I do this quite a lot for fingerboard workouts, just to warm up at the beginning of the day. I kind of prefer these to arm circling because you get to see the forearms and the hands as well and it just gets your heart racing a little bit harder. Okay, from there, we're gonna go into mountain climbers. So it works core a little bit more, gets the shoulders warmed up extra as well. Okay, and then third exercise or fourth exercise we're gonna do is gonna do some jump pull-ups on our bar. So just warming up into some of those pull-up exercises that we're gonna do later on. So you can see I'm pushing off on one leg here, I'm really helping myself through that pull-up. So exploring the range of motion Okay, good, I'm gonna come back jogging on the spot again. 
So now, as I'm starting to get into the second round, I'm only gonna got four minutes or so. So I'm really starting to get out of breath now, feel a lot warmer, blood rushing all the way around the body. I'm getting a little bit more prepared for a bit more high intensity work. Okay, get into those punches. And with these exercises, really try and open up those hands each time as well. Just really exploring the full range of mo movement. Probably hear my breath is slightly out of, on this one now. Feeling a little bit warmer. I've only been you know, two and a half minutes or so into it. Back into our mountain climbers. If you want to, I can come a little bit wider on those shoulders as well. And then finally, I'm gonna come back to those jump pull-ups again. So, jumping up into that movement. So these should feel, you know, 20% or so of maximum, really quite easy. You want to vary that grip as well a little bit. Work the lats a little bit more, warm those up as well. Is again, the same. Really quite low intensity. I can come to that underhand grip as well. So we've completed our warm up now and you should feel really ready and prepared to go for any kind of exercise across the body. So remember we're doing upper body and we're doing lower body on this as well. And the exercises we're gonna get stuck into now are gonna deal all the way from the antagonists, uh, upper body, shoulders, um, arms, our core, our lower body, and also some balance work as well. So trying to keep this really broad, but also relevant to climbing in those muscle groups that we work. So first one we're gonna start with is gonna be on the pull-up bar. Uh, you might wanna get a bit of chalk uh, available to you as well. If you're a little bit sweaty, um, I don't always find that some of the pull-up bars out there are the kind of grippiest. Um, so a little bit of chalk available on the side and let's get started. So we've got a 20 second countdown now and then we're gonna start on all these exercises. So this one is going to be a round robin of 10 exercises, which you're gonna do 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, and we're gonna repeat that two times for 20 minutes in total. You ready? Let's get going. So first exercise we're gonna do is gonna be hanging dishes on the pull-up bar. So this is a really good exercise. It's actually a very basic progression towards improving on pull-ups. So get your timer ready. We're gonna have a 10 second lead in, and then we're gonna be a 30 second hang in our dish position on the pull-up bar. Okay, you ready? 10 second lead in. Grab our pull-up bar. And three, two, one, go. So you can see what we're doing here is got Keep the shoulders engaged, abs tucked in, working the hip flexors, tightening up the quads, and really maintaining tension all the way across the front of your body. So 10 more seconds to go. Really works abs, shoulders, and hip flexors as well. Four, three, two, one, time. 30 seconds rest now, and then we're gonna lead into this next exercise. So really short rest, but just enough to recover to the next one. Okay, so we've got 20 seconds going, and we're gonna go down into press-ups now. So we're gonna keep alternating across the body, using different muscle groups to give you just enough rest, and then we can move those around that 10 different exercises. So for the press-ups press exercise, we have two different variations, the full press-up down the feet, or we can do that on our knees as well. So some of you may want to start with a bent leg press up exercise, coming down to the chest each time. Others may need to come up onto the toes and doing a full press up. And then what we're gonna try and do is complete that for our full 30 seconds. Try and keep control all the way through. Nice neutral head position, not rushing it. Okay, that's good, so that's exercise two completed. 
Another 30 seconds rest now. So we've got just enough rest to kind of keep it in control. And we're gonna move on to the next part of the body. If you're ready, gonna go on legs now. Don't forget for legs for climbers, it's just so classically ignored. No one ever does any work on this, but it's really important to continually work on the strength and conditioning of these as well. So two seconds to go. And now what we're gonna do is just go into a nice deep squat position. So try and keep those heels down. So rather than coming up onto the toes, we're keeping those heels down. Keep that torso nice and straight as well. If you wanna make the exercise harder, you can bring your hands above your head as well. A lot of climbers have really poor thoracic mobility. So that ability to be able to extend. Okay, 30 seconds up, so that went quickly. Okay, next one we're gonna to go to is back to the bar again now. So we went lower body, we're gonna move back to the bar and keep cycling around those muscle groups. So I hope you're still ready. And in this now, uh, we're on to exercise four. So we're four out of 10 through. And on this exercise, we're gonna do a lock position of the bar. So an isometric contraction and hold. Initially, I'd advise doing this at either 150 degrees or 90 degrees on the bar. So I'm gonna hold at that 90 degree position. So two arms on the bar. You can do this on the jugs on the top of your fingerboard. And again, you can see that I'm trying to really tighten up on the abs at the front. Really keep that contracted position. Some of you may want to drop a little bit lower, come down to 150, work the triceps a little bit more, isn't quite as uh, intense on the brachioradialis, or you might want to do that at 90 degrees. Hold that position, two, one, and time. Okay, shaking out. So I get my 30 seconds rest. And now I'm gonna flip it down and go down to the lower body again. So rest that upper body. Those isometric exercises are really, really good basic strength exercise to do in any of your uh, training regimes. And I thoroughly recommend them for uh, soft tissue health and also um, improving some of those adaptations and the tendons associated with our climbing sport. Okay, one second to go and we're gonna go on to our calf raises. So I'm just gonna get bracing this now. Just get a whole little bit of balance all the way down to the heels, raising up to my toes. Good for the slab climbers, good for the vert climbers. And if we're not going indoors so much now, we really wanna try and make sure we're working that lower body as well. Okay, two, one, time. Okay, shape those legs out. Next exercise we're gonna do is gonna flip down to the floor again, and we're gonna do a basic core exercise. So as I said at the beginning, this first video is a much more simple, uh, lower level, entry level video. So all of these can be built on and we're gonna have progressions coming out next week where these things will all get harder. So hopefully you'll get through all these exercises and won't have any issues with them. You'll find this a nice kind of a foundation and start to all of these. So we're gonna have that tuck position here, legs at 90 degrees, hands out of the front, and we're just gonna hold that position for 30 seconds. These obviously have quite a few progressions that we can build onto these. Um, and we can make these quite a bit harder, but we'll bring those on in later weeks to make those a little bit more complex. Try and keep that torso in a nice neutral position, head not you know way forward and tucked in, likewise back not bent up. Okay, that was good, nice and easy. Okay, 30 seconds rest. And for here, we're now gonna go into a low row exercise. So for this one, I've got a portable fingerboard set up here and a box. You can actually swap this out for a chair at home and you could do this also on a lower level pull-up bar or rings or TRX. Okay, so I've got five seconds. I'm gonna grab two hands. I'm gonna set my feet up on my box on my chair. And then from here is I'm gonna be pulling up and I'm gonna be doing a, the start of a low row and I'm just gonna be doing shoulder shrugs. So we're not doing that full row position there, is we're just doing the shoulder shrugs. So really trying to squeeze the scapula, those shoulder blades together behind your back. A really nice exercise for shoulder health. 
Okay, that feels good. 30 seconds rest now, and we're gonna be going on to the next exercise, which is with our TheraBand. So I'll move this one over. TheraBands obviously come in lots of different thicknesses, colors, and amount of tension. So you have to have a little bit of a play around with this one. Um, and what we're gonna be doing with this one is really working on the lats and tricep, and we're gonna be doing a pull down exercise. So something very similar you might have seen in the gym with a cable machine. So from here is I'm gonna be bringing that arm down to the waist. And down through each time. You're keeping the arm straight and I'm keeping that shoulder back and retracted. So I'm not turning in with that shoulder. I'm trying to keep that chest open and shoulder back. Hold it for a second at the bottom. Now swap over. Probably not done that quite evenly on either side. It's talking too much. So swap that over around the 15 second mark on that one. Okay, uh, we're on to exercise nine and we're gonna do another lower body exercise, but this one builds in a uh, balance uh, sort of element to it as well. I think it's another one really good to do when you're not getting down to the wall so much. And we just wanna kind of keep refining those motor skills so that we're moving well on our feet and we've got that balance and we've got that strength and conditioning around the ankles as well and the knee joint. So from this one is we're gonna be touching in front of us, touching to the side, touching to the back, and then through to the front, to the side, to the back, through, swapping over. So obviously, the harder you wanna make this, the deeper you go. I'm doing this with a flat foot to make this relatively easy to start with. Okay, 30 seconds rest. And we're now gonna go on to our last exercise of the day. Absolute classic for climbers is the plank exercise. I'm gonna to start today with a basic plank exercise, but we're gonna build up some progressions of that in next week's video so we can make this harder and again, build in some of that specificity for climbing. So we'll get down the floor, down on our elbows, onto our toes, and we're gonna try and maintain that really nice straight body all the way through, holding that tension all the way through. Try and keep that head in a nice neutral position and then just breathe your way through it. Tucking that belly button in, clenching with the glutes. Nearly there, last exercise. And that's us through, so 30 seconds now. I'm gonna go back to the start again. So that's round one completed. Should have eased into all those exercises. Recognize what you're doing now. Let's get onto the second round and repeat those exercises again. So this is where the hard work starts. So we're onto our dish hang again. Get myself some space on the bar. And we're doing this for 30 seconds again. So exactly the same exercise. So really remember to maintain that tension all the way through that hang. Feel like I should have warmed up, uh, sorry, not warmed up, um, chalked up this time. Got a little bit sweaty your hands. That's why it's really important to help. Remember, ten tensing those abs, tensing the quads, the hip flexors, holding that position. Working a little bit harder now. Three, two, one, good. Okay, 30 seconds. Then we'll move on to our exercise again. So we're into rounds two of those exercises now. So we're over halfway and we've really got to try and keep that pace up, keep that energy up, but keep using those 30 seconds rest between those exercises. So let's move to another part of the body. We're going to go down to our press ups. Okay, so remember press ups can be done on knees, on feet, and all sorts of different variations with our grips and our shoulders as well. So if we want to go wider grip, likewise, I'm very happy for you to do that on these earlier videos as well. But for the minute, I'll just maintain that standard grip on the shoulders.
Okay, it's good. So our 30 seconds, and now we're gonna be going into our squats. So we've done two exercises there, working the core and the shoulders. Let's get down to the legs, give the upper body a little bit of a rest, and do our squats again. So remember the squats is trying to keep our heels on the floor on this one. Try not to raise up on those toes. Really good for working on mobility as well. Climbers aren't always the best at this. Okay, so nice wide position here. Then nice deep squat position. Hopefully you can't hear my knees clicking away on this one. I've always felt like that knee clicking thing, sort of thing that you either have it or you don't. It's never gone away for how many years I've been doing sport and training and exercise. Okay, try and keep that torso nice and upright. Shake those legs out, 30 seconds. And we're moving on to exercise number four in our round three. So that's back on the pull-up bar again. And as I said at the start, you can do this on a pull-up bar at home, but also the jugs on top of a fingerboard if you have a static fingerboard. Both of them work really well. Just make sure it's a really quite a good hold so that we've got a nice, easy, progressive exercise in this first one. So we've got three seconds or so going in, and we're gonna do that lock position again. So I'm gonna to choose to do that 90, 90 degree lock. And you'll no, notice that I'm trying to keep that body straight out the front. So rather than coming to a tuck position there, where I'm not working that anterior chain, is I'm really trying to keep those feet at the front. Just make that a little bit tougher, a little bit more specific to climbing, um, because we actually climb on the wall like this. We don't climb on the wall like that. So just working the muscle groups a little bit more, a bit more specific to climbing. Okay, good. Shake those arms out. And we're gonna come back to that calf rise exercise again. One small variation I think is probably appropriate for this foundation level of workout is that we can include a little bit of a raised platform so that when we're doing our calf raises, our heels are dropping down just ever so slightly lower than our um, forefoot, forefoot uh, height. So from here is I can just drop those heels a little bit lower. It's quite good on the edge of a step. Uh, you can stand on a box. You just be careful on a box that is stable, otherwise you can end up flipping the box as you go off the edge. Really work that nice high position on that calf raise all the way up each time. Okay, that's good. Shake those out. And then from there, we're gonna be going into our core exercise on the floor again. So that tuck position, just maintaining that 30 seconds of tuck on the floor. I'll just move this on out of the way. Get that on the floor. Okay, so we're gonna find that balance position, that tuck position on the floor. Then we can bring our hands out the front and then just hold in that position there. So a lot of people ask me about what are the best core exercises to do for climbers. And really, it's actually about having a very varied regime. So lots and lots of different core exercises. In my opinion, there's no one best core exercise. Uh, it's actually having a really high degree of variety, lots of planes of movement and working all of the muscles in the core as well. So lots of variety is super important on this form of training. Okay, that's us done. Another 30 seconds rest. And then we're gonna be going on to, so we did our tuck 30 seconds. And now we're gonna be going on to our row shrug exercise again. So I'll slide my portable fingerboard across. Got the box set up. This can be adjusted in height as well to make it easier or harder. Uh, this is a relatively easy position. If you extend your legs out really straight, it'll make it a little bit harder and having the box or chair higher will also make it harder. So nice stable position there. And then just shrugging those shoulders and having that torso forward. So you'll notice that this is a little bit different to the typical shoulder shrug exercise that you see people doing on a hanging bar, but still a good variation to do. So really squeezing those shoulder blades 
together behind. So we're working on all those muscles around the shoulder blade, around the scapular region, really conditioning them up for climbing specific movements. Okay, we've got fear, sort of 15 seconds or so, again, before we're gonna move into the next exercise, and that's exercise number eight in the second round, and that's gonna be our TheraBand pull down on this one. So I think I've actually selected this to be a little bit light today. Should have gone for a, a different color and made this a little bit harder, but this time I'll try and hold that a little bit longer at the bottom of each pull, just to make it feel a little bit harder keeping that shoulder blade back. Swap side, remember this time. Okay, that's my 30 seconds up. Slide that across. And now we're gonna be onto our lower body exercise again with that around the clock movement where we're touching our feet out either side. Uh, there's some, actually some really interesting progressions that you can do on this exercise that I'll show you in our next levels up from this video. But today, we're gonna keep it really basic, foot flat on the floor, and we're just gonna be touching into each of those positions and trying to go somewhere around that 90 degree bend on that leg each time. So a touch, a touch to the back, through, through to the front, really working that balance at the same time. Try and stop that upper body moving over. It's tricky if you do this on uh, squishy mats in an indoor gym, but unfortunately, not many of us got access to an indoor gym at the moment. Okay, so that's 30 seconds up. Another 30 seconds rest and we'll move into the next exercise. That's our last win in our 20 minutes. So we're gonna make this one really count. So that's your last exercise in our 20 minutes. Exercise 20, and those double repeats of those 10 exercises. So down the floor again, last one, working that plank position and 20, 30 second hold, sorry, for that last exercise of today's session. Oh, nearly missed the first second there. Going easy on myself. So clench that butt, belly button in. Try and breathe your way through it. Maintain that really nice straight position all the way through. Don't stick that bum on the air. Don't let those hips sag down. Nice straight position all the way through. And that's time. Okay. That's our 20 minute workout, home workout for climbers. I hope you found that really useful. Um, you're out of breath, you've got a decent workout that's kept you active and uh, motivated at home. As I said at the start, I'll be looking at to do these around two times per week, uh, possibly three times per week, but I really wouldn't recommend doing more than that unless you're working with a coach who's recommending that you can do more. Um, or you're really sure in terms of your athletic conditioning, you can handle a lot more. So we will see you again next week, next Thursday. That's when we're going to be releasing it. So get stuck in and I hope you enjoy it.